Coco is purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing Hey baby, how are you? I'm tired, love. Just got back from the hospital. Sorry, dear. How is your daddy's body now? I know he'll be fine because the doctors were treating him when I left. Okay, I pray he gets better soon. Thank you. I know he'll be fine. And once he's better, I'll be able to go back to school. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Just have faith. Thank you so much, love. It's good to see you. It's also good to see you. You know I love you, right? I got something for you. It's not much, but manage the money. You don't need to do this. Remember the last time you gave my mom money? That doesn't matter. I'm doing this for my future father-in-law, so please use it to get him something, okay? You really didn't have to do this, but thank you. Nathan, it's getting late. Let me go home. I'm sure mom will be home to make food for my dad. I still want you here with me. I don't want you to go. Baby, you know in as much as I want to stay here with you, you know that's not possible. I can't even imagine what your brother will do to me if you don't return home and then he finds you here. Look at you. You are so scared of my brother. Don't you know soon he will be your in-law? I know, but until then, I want to stay out of his way. So beautiful, my friend. Thank you so much, but I have a feeling you still have more in mind to say. You know, eh, I wish you took everything slow, but I'm happy for you. I know you're happy and you think I'm making a mistake, but I love Ezra and it's him I want to spend the rest of my days with and there's nothing to slow down on. Okay, my friend, come, let's go outside. Everyone is waiting for you. Finally, my wife is here. Wow. Wow. Hey, baby. You look so beautiful, my love. Thank you, babe. I'm happy today. He's finally here. Yes, my love. Thank you for accepting to marry me. I promise to love you all my days and never make you sad. I promise to love you too. Good day, sir. What is good about the day? You are here to tell me that your father is dead this time around or you brought my money. No, sir. That is not what happened. You can see that I am very busy. So you should state what brings you here. I went to the hospital to see my dad and my mom told me you came around and paid the bills on our behalf. So? I came to see you to thank you, sir. And my family won't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. God bless you. Look at you. Do you think I did that because I care about your father? Look, I don't care about him. But? How can I allow the man that owes me that kind of huge sum of money to die? If he dies, who will now pay me? Sir, I'm working to make sure that my dad pays back what he owes you. I hope you pay the money up. I really do. I wish your father a quick recovery. Thank you, sir. Enough with the thank you. But you know that your debts have increased. Increased? My mom said you helped us for free a gift your father was dying there was no way i could watch so i asked that the doctor start working on him do you know how much his treatment cost i saw the bill sir it was much happy everything went as planned the food and the meat was enough for everyone i did not even notice that all i was after was for everything to end so i can come home with you in my arms and cuddle is that how eager you were for us to finish yes but that uncle of yours was just making everything long even after we got everything he asked for. That's what makes the whole wedding fun now. I know. It's just that I wanted everything to end. Plus, you shouldn't have allowed him to go with the items he took with him. But you know he was my uncle. That is your fake uncle. We both know your parents are dead and you don't have any uncle. Baby, this is supposed to be our happy night. So let's not talk about this. All this stuff have already happened. They are the past. I'm sorry. You know I am happy about today. And that gown of yours made you look so beautiful. Thank you. Although I understand where you're coming from on taking all of this stuff, but we'll be fine regardless. He's a gluten. I'm sorry I had to say that. We are going to be fine. Even Regina was surprised that he took that much stuff. Let's talk on something else. Like me promising you that we are going to make us work and we are going to overcome anything that will come up between us. I also promise you the same. I promise to spoil you and take you for the best honeymoon soon, once I have money. Sir, the money, paying you back would be an issue, sir, if I'm being sincere. Your father was a fool. He didn't use six million rights. Do you know that there are people I gave one million to, that they all paid me back? But your dad has always been an issue, spending recklessly. Look at him now. My father learned the hard way, but please, sir. Why are you telling me, please? What do you want me to do now? Because I can't leave my money for your father. He is such an ingrate. I'm asking you for a way to help us. Maybe you give us more time to pay. Even if I give you all the time in the world, you won't be able to still pay me back. Your family is not the kind that need help because you only disappoint again. 
Sir, please give us more time. I promise I will do everything in my power to pay the money, sir. How do you intend to pay, James? I will find a way to pay the money, sir. I will. Okay, I will give you more time. But that will be on the condition of my choice. Any condition, Chief. Just say it. I will give you more time to pay me your father's money. But you will bring your sister. My sister, Judith? Yes, Judith. You bring her to come work for me at home as one of my maids. Sir, Judith is still going to school. You are lying. She told me by herself that she has dropped out of school due to no funds. Sir. Your sister works for me and you get time to find the money or she stays here working for me to clear the debt. See if this is something that I can't give an answer around. You must not give me a reply now. Think about it, then get back to me. Where are you coming from, young woman? But mom, I told you I was going to see Nathan. Don't you know you should be back on time so we can cook and take for your father in the hospital? I know. That's mom. What happened? That you are singing happily. It's long I saw you this happy. I know, my dear. I'm just praying that God bless Shiv wherever he is. Because if not that he helped you with the abuse, what will we be saying now? That's true, mom. How is that body now? Your father is fine and getting better. The doctor said we continue treatment. He will be back to normal soon. That's good news, mom. And happy. What of brother James? Is he home? I asked him to go and see chief and thank him on our behalf. The money chief paid is not a small amount. We are so lucky chief came and helped us, mom. Yes, we are. I'm coming, mom. What to take something from my room? Better don't go and sleep in the room. Do whatever you want to do first so you can come and help me out in the kitchen. Okay, mom. Veronica. I knew I would find you here, dad. What are you doing here? See you asking me that question in my own office. Yes, dad. I am asking you. I have every right to ask or don't I? I'm your daughter after all. Well, daughter, I have some things I need to attend to. What brings you here? I came to check on you as I couldn't find you at home. You found me. Dad, you shouldn't be here in the office. I know, but I couldn't stay at home all day long. Plus, there are important things that need my attention here. The doctor said you should rest and not do anything that will stress you out. Don't worry, my dear. I am fine. See, it's not like I'm stressing myself in any way. Okay, Dad, if you say so. Well, I took your advice, Veronica. What advice is that, Dad? Remember that man I told you I borrowed some money, but now he can't pay back? Yes, I remember. I made a decision of taking one of his children to come work for us as a maid. That's a great decision. I should encourage him to pay his debt soon. So when is the person coming to start work? I don't know yet. I just told the brother about it today and asked that he should go and think about it. Dad, you don't need to allow him think of anything. You should have taken the person immediately. You went there. That way they know you mean business. That is too harsh. See, I am sure they will bring the lady to come work for me by themselves. Daddy, some people need to be held by their collars for them to do the right thing. Good morning, sleeping queen. Time for you to have your breakfast. Good morning, love. Since when have you been awake? Not that long. And I wanted to make something for my lovely wife. Come on, baby. You shouldn't st stress yourself that way. You should have woken me up so I can help you out. I didn't do that because I did not want to stress you. And again, you are a queen. So you should be treated as one. Thank you so much, love. Please don't laugh at the food. I know I'm not a great chef like you. So make sure you eat with caution. I have to go and get ready. Where are you going to? Work, baby. My workplace did not give me a leave, so I have to go to work now. Okay, I will all alone at home then. Yes, but don't worry. I will be back on time. Eat your food while it's hot. Okay, babe. I know I cannot give you the life you want now, but I promise to love you and I'll do everything in my power to make sure that I see you happy. I'll work very hard to make sure that you have a better life than the one we are living right now. Babe, I know that you do all that and more, and that's why I love you. I love you so much. Let me be on my way. Take care of yourself. I will, and you too. Thank you, love, for giving me a loving and caring man as Ezra. I couldn't have asked for better. Daddy, aren't you done in the office already? You should go on ahead. I will come and meet you at home. I'm not going anywhere, Dad. We are both leaving the office together. You will have to give me more time. I can't wait to be working here, sitting in this chair at the topmost floor and giving orders here and there. <laughs> it's not as easy as it seems. What's up, man? How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. Seems getting married is good. Look at how excited you are. Come on, you know I'm always excited unless I am broke. 
oh are you saying that now you're excited because you have money because you both know you don't have money so i'm sure your wife cooked something nice for you this morning that's why you're happy no she didn't i made her breakfast in bed see i am a very romantic husband <laughs> wow someone is in love here yeah. well that's nice what's up with your dad's health he is fine did you get the money you needed yes i did from a very surprising source surprising source remember the ship i told you my dad borrowed money from he was the one that paid for his hospital bill does that mean that the chief have handled the debt no he didn't cancel the debt but he said he would give us more time to pay i hope it's like three to four years i don't even know but he asked that my sister comes to work for him as he made while we pay back the money in the process well that's easy hope you agree to it i couldn't how can you just go and work for him as his personal maid? What if he tries to take advantage of her? That's true, but it's also an opportunity. What if he cancels the debt because of your sister? And I think for as long as she works there in his mansion, he wouldn't disturb you about the debt, right? Something like that, yeah. My advice is that you better accept what he's offering. You know I'm surprised to see you here, Judith. Why are you surprised? When was the last time you came to check on me again? Come on, that's not true. I came the first time you started coming to shop for your mom. Since then, when last did you come here? When? What about you? When last did you come to my house to check on me? I don't have time for myself. It's always shop and school. You always have excuses to give. Like you can't rush to my house as you're coming from school for just two minutes. Don't be angry. See, I'll do it one of these days. It's just that I'll be busy with everything. We're preparing for exams soon. Make sure you study well first, class student. You know I will. How's your dad and everyone? Everyone is fine. Just that dad was taken to hospital yesterday. Sorry about that. I hope he's stable now. Yes, he's much better. I pray he gets totally well so that everything will be normal at home. I also pray so. What are you thinking of? I'm just curious about something. What is that? Curious cats. Remember the chief I told you my dad borrowed money from? Yes, I remember. Hope he didn't come to the house again. He did. On the day, we took that to the hospital. But that's not even the issue. Do you know that he was the one that paid for that bill? Are you serious or you're joking? I'm very serious here. He came to the house and he met me. He then asked about my dad and I told him he was in the hospital. I also mentioned that I came home to make something for him to eat. Next thing, he asked we go to the hospital together and he paid for his hospital bill. Just like that? Yes, just like that. I'm still surprised why he did that. Maybe he saw your dad condition and took pity. Who knows? You should be glad he paid the bills. I'm just wondering. I don't think you should worry about anything because once your dad is better, he can pay the chief his money and you can also come back to school. I can't wait for that, Salome. Every now and then, I see why I love you. You look beautiful. Thank you, baby. But you know I wish we went to the club instead of here. Look, I can't smoke here. I'm giving you a gentle treat as my lady and you're wishing you were at the club. Can't you see how beautiful and calm the environment here is? That's not how I mean it, baby. Of course, I like it here. I'm just saying I would have loved it better if we were at the club where we could smoke and dance. Fine. After we leave here, you can go to the club since that is what you want. Thank you, love. What would you like to drink so I can place it? Anything is fine by me. Are you sure anything is really fine by you? Yes, because they don't have the kind of things I want here. So I'll just go with what they have. When will you ever change? Maybe one day, but not now. Let's just have some few drinks. Then we'll go to a place of my choice, my own kind of place. Very well then. There is something that has been coming to my mind. Baby, I want to introduce you to my dad. I think it's time you both meet each other. Are you sure about that, love? Yes, I am very sure. But that's if you are okay with it. Of course, I'm okay with it. I'd love to meet him. Hey babe, how was your day? My day went well. What about yours? Fine, just at home. Missing you and waiting for you to get back home. I'm back home now. I'm happy you are here because I missed you so much. I miss you too, baby. Mama called and she's not feeling well. Oh my, what did she say is wrong with her? I don't know, but at the same time, I feel like it's part of her plans to make me come over to see her. You should have gone to see her instead of coming back home first. I wanted to, but I thought I would come home first, and then we could talk about going to see her. Let me bring food for you, and hope she's not too sick. She sounded kind of weak on the phone though, but we'll check her tomorrow. My friend, how is his health now? He is fine. The doctor said he's responding to treatment, and in no time he'll be better. Thank God. Sorry I did not come to see you earlier. I did not know Jonathan was sick again, until I saw Judith and asked about you. 
then she told me what happened that's how we also saw it but we thank god he's getting better now yes just make sure that once he's better you don't allow him to go back to his old habits that is true my friend because his sickness is taking money away from us money we should use for food we are using for drugs i understand my friend but don't be worried he will be fine look at him He's already looking better than when we brought him here in the first place. Don't worry, he'll be fine and we'll soon start walking around. Hey ma'am, sorry I couldn't come for your son's wedding. All these things just happen all at once. I understand. How was the wedding? Hope you kept my own clothes for me. It went well. We don't make it big. Just a simple wedding. That's the best kind of wedding. I hope they are both doing fine though and you're hearing from them. They are fine. Don't worry. When next they come to see me, I will bring them to your place to come greet you. Okay, my friend. Thank you so much for coming around. You know, I'll be very happy to meet your father. Don't worry. I'll tell him about it later when I get home. Then I'll tell you the day that you can come around. Okay, baby. If I'm coming to your house, what am I supposed to come with? Anything you want to come with. Just make sure you don't smoke on that day or drink alcohol. No, I won't do that. Please, I only take one or two puffs sometimes. It's all because of you. You're the only one making me do it. I know well my dad is doing to like you when he sees you. He's a very easygoing man. Does this mean after I met him, you can tell him about looking for a job? I told you. I'll talk to him myself about that. Don't mention that to him before he thinks you're after money. Okay, baby, I understand you. I told you that you didn't have to worry yourself about taking me home. I could just take a bike. I love it every time you come around. That I take you back home and make sure that you enter your house right in front of me. He's like you're driving me home, right? Yes, with my walking bands. So now have a car that I'll be using to drive you back home. You will teach me how to drive the car as well, right? I will. That is the easier thing for me to do for you. I can't wait for that day to me. Well, I have to let you to go inside now before mosquitoes start to bite you. Let them bite me. See, I don't feel like going inside our house. I just want to be here with you all night. Same here. But we both know you need to go back home. I don't want to get in trouble. Plus, I don't want mosquitoes biting you. You are still scared of my brother. I know that. Yes, I am. I don't want him to come out of nowhere and beat me up. Don't worry. Nothing like that will happen. And I will still have time. It's not my coffee time yet. Look at how beautiful and innocent she looks. Why didn't I see her all this while? Judith, my dear, you look so beautiful. Thank you so much, sir. You and I are lovers. So I don't want you putting the word sir before my name. Just call me baby. I'm your baby, or aren't I? You are my baby chief. You are. Tell me whatever you want, and I'll give it to you. Just mention it, my love. Yes, just say it. I want us to travel somewhere far away from everyone. Where is it just going to be two of us alone, all to ourselves? I can make that happen. Is that all you want from me or you want something more? I want you to cancel off my father's debt, baby. Think you can do that for me? I can do that, but only if you promise to be by my side forever. What is wrong? Why are you not eating? Nothing serious. Just don't have appetite for food. I know it's mama you're thinking about. Yes, she's the one on my mind. I just want her to be fine. Don't worry, she's going to be okay. Plus, we'll go and check on her tomorrow. I want to go and see her. But baby, I don't have any money on me. I can't go and see her. If you don't have any money, there's no way we can get her the things we need. And we don't know how serious her health condition is. I don't know if you have any money that you can lend me. I promise to pay back all the money I borrowed from you. Babe, you know the wedding took money from me. I don't have any money, but don't worry too much. I'll see what I can do about it. You know you are planning on asking your friend. Yes, you know that's the only person I have to ask. Okay, no problem. I'll pay back, I promise you. Just help me out for my mom's sake. I think it's time for me to say goodbye. Let's just spend like 10 minutes out here together. Your brother. Don't worry. My brother won't do anything to you. I won't allow that. Speaking of him, here he is. I just hope there won't be any problem. What's the meaning of this? Judith, what is happening here? Good evening, sir. Brother, good evening. I'm just outside here with Nathan. You know him? Nathan, what are you doing here with my sister? Did I not tell you I don't want to see you around boys? Brother James, I am not around with any boy. This is Nathan, my boyfriend, and mommy knows him. Will you keep quiet and go inside this very minute before I change my mind? I'm not going inside and stop embarrassing me in front of my guests. Judith, it's okay. Please listen to your brother and go inside. Okay? I'll be fine. But I don't want to, and I don't like the way he's talking to you. 
I ain't repeating myself. Go inside. You know me, I'll slap you before your guest or whatever it is you two are calling yourself. I don't know why you are always like this brother. You. This is a warning. Stay away from my sister. I don't want to see you anywhere around her. I know you think I came around to waste her time, but I love her and... I don't want to hear whatever you have to say to me. Just stay away from her because next time I see you, I'll break your head. Get out of here. Get out now.